hello everyone welcome to this video tutorial and this is the third episode of optimization algorithm previously i have explained genetic algorithm particle swarm optimization and now it's artificial bee colony and in upcoming days i will upload ant colony and uh, many other optimization algorithms like uh, whales and da and a lot more so uh, let me relate this ABC with PSO and genetic algorithm. So in particle swarm optimization, initially we have few particles and uh, based on their fitness function, we have to update the velocity and uh, uh, the position of that particles. Based on their fitness function, we have to update the velocity and the position of that particles. And in case of genetic algorithms, uh, we have parents, and from the uh, fitness of the parents, we have offsprings. Uh, based on uh, the fitness of individual, now we have offsprings, and offspring will process through the mu mutation and crossover uh, through the selection of the roulette wheel or tournament selection so uh, through that we have uh, uh, gone through our objective function and we get the best value so in uh, artificial bee colony uh, we have uh, uh, the bees uh, and uh, there, there is uh, uh, some procedure or there is uh, some uh, kind of levels uh, through which uh, we pass our objective function so here in this MATLAB program here you can see that initially uh, we have uh, uh, empty bees or you can say them uh, the uh, random bees or you can also uh, say them the employed bees and after uh, the evaluation of employed bees we have the next loop uh, which is uh, related to the onlooker bees and after the onlooker bees uh, we have the next part uh, which is about the scout bees so we have to uh, process our objective through these parts uh, so we get uh, uh, finally the best uh, uh, possible through this uh, uh, object uh, through this optimization algorithm and uh, the best part is that in uh, all uh, three optimization algorithms uh, we have same code which we uh, get from the ERPs so uh, we get from this uh, from the ERPs and uh, let me show you uh, the folder if you uh, download the file how to, you can utilize it so uh, this is the this is the file uh, which I have downloaded from their website and after that you have to extract it uh, just extract all and here is the license so just uh, make sure that uh, if you want to uh, utilize this code you must have to uh, uh, place license into your MATLAB files or uh, here you can see that uh, artificial bee colony uh, just and here is license file and even in uh, any of uh, the uh, just like abc.m main file in the start of that uh, there is a copyright and all that stuff so this video is a educational purpose video uh, so uh, just keep uh, all things in mind so in case of uh, artificial bee colony uh, how it works uh, it's actually work that we start with the population of the artificial bees and each artificial bees uh, we will evaluate uh, that bees or values uh, from our objective function and uh, the solutions we will call them as the food sources so in case of genetic algorithm we say them uh, the offsprings and in case of particle swarm optimization we said them as swarms or updated particles so the uh, main principle or uh, main uh, funda is actually exactly the same uh, just there are different names for each uh, algorithm and different procedures to find the objective function so uh, initially uh, we have here our cost function and I already have made a basic video on uh, the MATLAB programming and if you are new to MATLAB program uh, just um, make sure to watch uh, the video on the basics which is appearing right now on the top uh, right of the screen uh, just make sure to watch that and uh, here is our cost function uh, which is a uh, sphere x and let me left click here okay let me left click here and let me click on step and here i have initialized uh, my cost function in uh, in 
uh, form of spare so whenever we have a call to the cost function here three times uh, one two three four and five times so when uh, we have a call to the cost function we will get, uh, get into uh, the uh, sphere uh, similarly roulette wheel selection is present in genetic algorithm and I already have uh, uh, explain in the genetic algorithm optimization uh, in a very detail how Rowlet wheel selection works and uh, definitely I will uh, just uh, uh, not uh, get into much detail for Rowlet wheel selection so if you want to get more depth for Rowlet wheel selection you can switch to that genetic algorithm part so uh, here we have decision variables 5 um, we can uh, adjust them to as per our own choice and then we have minimum and maximum for each uh, of our decision variable and then we have maximum iterations populations and onlooker bees and here is the uh, uh, limit parameter uh, uh, to evaluate uh, uh, in the selection of the bees procedure uh, which we'll explore uh, in a while so here if you select this variable here you can see that L is utilized here in the scout bees so let me uh, click here there is a uh, small symbol here and after that uh, here we have empty B structure uh, which we want to uh, we uh, want to initialize uh, variables in which we have to put data uh, so we can put that initial data uh, into objective function or into sphere.m so we evaluate uh, the cost accordingly let me click on step uh, let me click on continue and and in mtb we have both uh, uh, position and cost and uh, similarly in uh, genetic algorithm particle swarm optimization we have similar procedure uh, creating variable inside a variable uh, that's uh, uh, why we have uh, uh, because we have used the optimization algorithm code from the ERPs, that's why we have a similar procedure and it's uh, very simple to understand these optimization algorithms and uh, fit your objective into these optimization algorithms and to see which optimization perform better. In uh, most of the cases, it's uh, very hard to say that which optimization is better, uh, PSO is better or ABC is better. Uh, but it depends upon the case or objective which you want to evaluate and based on that uh, we uh, uh, different optimizations give us the different uh, result or, and in some cases uh, one optimization uh, perform better and in other cases the other optimization uh, perform better and uh, we already have uh, explored that how rep mat is uh, uh, will create rep mat will create uh, uh, these variables now uh, uh, this time uh, 100 times will create empty B's variables 100 times and it will create uh, array and uh, if you want to explore more about the rep mat let me dock it and you can any uh, put any uh, built-in uh, command for uh, the MATLAB program and it will show you the uh, explanation for that and you may learn more about that so uh, rep mat we want to create uh, empty B's uh, and uh, that will be in inside the uh, population or pop variable here you can see that inside the pop we have hundred of populations and uh, now we have to fill that sections position and cost and here initially we have to put uh, best solution dot cost as infinite so for the first time for the first time when we evaluate our fitness function we get a number and that number definitely will be less than the infinite so we will compare that uh, with this thing and uh, we will overlap that uh, best uh, uh, best solution uh, with that number so that is in this loop let me click on step so create initial population I click on step uh, and now similarly you can explore uh, uh, the unifren and unifren is a MATLAB built-in command and uh, that will create uh, uh, the uh, variable size uh, it will create five numbers uh, with minimum of this and maximum of this normally uh, RE and DRAND uh, will generate Will, gen uh, will generate numbers with minimum and maximum of 
zero to one. So that's why uh, we have here minimum and maximum uh, limits uh, by using the unit frame. So here we calculate our uh, population position. And uh, I will uh, definitely recommend you to watch uh, the first two, uh, genetic algorithm and the particle swarm optimization because in that, uh, that were the first two episodes and in that I have explained everything in a, in a more detail. And in this part I will uh, skip uh, some more details. So this is the population dot position. So we here we get the position uh, which are five numbers. And now at this line we are going into the population cost function. So this is the pop i position. Uh, so pop i dot position means uh, the position variable inside the pop. So inside the pop variable we have the position sections and i represent uh, its location. So the first position. So uh, this uh, first row I have five numbers. So we are going to put that five numbers into the cost functions. Let me uh, move into the sphere, which is actually the cost function. Let me left click here. Let me click on step. And now that five numbers are here. And based on the five numbers, we have to evaluate the Z. Let me click on step, step. And now it's active. So uh, the cost which I get from this and which is actually Z here. So that Z is actually pop I cost, which we have, which the uh, program is now just uh, replacing this cost here. Let me click on step, and uh, this time it's eighty seven point zero five. So that's how our best solution dot cost. If you move your cursor, you can see that it's infinite, or even you can copy that and put into command window, hit enter button, and you can see that it's infinite. So this time our population, which in particle swarm optimization we say we say personal best and uh, initially we can say that uh, this is uh, uh, the global best in that uh, in case of PSO so uh, here we have to check uh, which one is better so this statement is correct we have less than infinite and then we have to uh, over um, we have to replace uh, this number uh, 87.05 then click on step and in next iteration uh, we have different numbers uh, using this uh, random command and then uh, this time we have evaluate our cost okay and uh, this time we have 235 which is worst so this time this condition will not be true and our uh, best solution dot cost will remains 87.05 let me click on step okay and let me uh, move uh, 87.05 so that's how we will uh, fill out these numbers uh, we will create initial uh, data for uh, for our objective function based on the random data and these hundred numbers will be filled out let me uh, left click here and click on continue and here you can see that we have some good numbers and we have some worst numbers as well and uh, now we are going into the uh, main loop of this optimization algorithm click on step creating uh, um, more variables which we have to perform here so best cost we have uh, uh, initialized another array where we have to hold best cost values so this is the maximum iteration and uh, here is the uh, recreated bees so up to these uh, we can say that these populations initial population we can see them as uh, the initial bees or you can say them as the uh, employed bees And uh, based on that now we have new B position and we have new B cost so based on the previous data which we have get initially let me left click here and here are the procedure for recreated bees we need hundred bees and uh, here you can also uh, uh, say that these five numbers uh, this is the first B and this is the second B you can see uh, you can say that these are the numbers uh, which representing a 1b or characteristics for a b which we have to uh, update these numbers based on 
their personal best and their uh, uh, overall best performance. So let me click on step here. Uh, so here is uh, uh, randomly not equal to i. So this is uh, uh, some kind of. So uh, the, this is the part uh, for which uh, uh, during the onlooker B's phase, uh, I select a food source to explore and uh, K select another food. So that actually uh, these lines are working on that and uh, define acceleration coefficient, uh, uh, which is actually uh, uh, work on the uh, uh, principle of uh, exploration of new solutions or uh, to determine how far away from the current solution a B uh, will uh, to explore the new solution so that's how these are works and uh, uh, we will uh, uh, rearrange our position so let me click on step okay let me uh, start the um, debugging again let me click on run and here if you see that uh, we have population position uh, which is uh, actually uh, stored previously we have done that uh, let me show that to pop and inside pop we have 100 values or as per our population that is 100 so right now uh, this pop i position is actually directing to this and uh, this uh, pop k position uh, which uh, uh, actually we have uh, uh, get uh, this uh, using uh, the k so we have 40 so using the k factor uh, we are getting exactly uh, the position at the 40th location so but uh, just uh, subtracting that and multiplying that with the phi and uh, then just uh, plus that position uh, to our current position so that's how we are just uh, adjusting uh, the position or our numbers so we get a uh, new B position uh, which is uh, which should uh, which will hopefully be better one so this is the scenario to make it a better one and uh, after that uh, no, no position so let me show you uh, the difference between that so this is the nope and this position is 7.56 uh, and the previously the position was 8.796 and so on with other numbers so you can see that there is a there is a slight change uh, with that and now after getting the uh, newbie position uh, now we are going into the cost function and in cost function uh, this uh, instruction uh, we will uh, put our numbers uh, we'll put our numbers uh, here uh, inside this and uh, uh, then we will get the value of z uh, which later uh, we have to uh, update our cost so based on these numbers let me click on step and here you can see that we get the cost similarly now we have uh, uh, to put our noob and uh, uh, this noob is actually uh, uh, representing right now at this point uh, this is the uh, pop i cost uh, this cost uh, we get from uh, these numbers or this stage uh, this is the initial stage we get that cost from that and this is the uh, newbie cost which uh, we get from uh, this loop or this uh, part of code and now we are comparing both of them and if our newbie cost uh, means this cost uh, this one this evaluation is better than our previous one then uh, we are replacing uh, this number uh, uh, this noob variable include both uh, position and cost so this noob will be replaced uh, will be replaced with the uh, population i so initially we have a variable uh, pop and inside pop we have our position and cost uh, as per each individual we have fitness uh, and that fitness is actually the cost so now we are comparing both ones and uh, the better ones are uh, replaced or uh, overlap with the pop this variable so this will be the final so this is the end of the population and uh, 
uh, this loop will uh, run for the number of the population. So if our population are 100, which we have select here, so this loop will repeat itself for 100 times. Let me get out of this loop and let me click on continue. So now I am out of this loop and inside the pop we have our updated, updated values. So these are the updated values and let me uh, show you this again. Let me uh, quiet this debugging. Let me run the program. Sorry. Uh, let me click here. Uh, let me click on. Uh, so it means that uh, our i is one means we are at first uh, at first attempt, and inside po population I have minus one point two four. Let me take a copy of that. And let me get out of this loop. Okay. And I want to. S and here you can see that there is a difference. The first one is same, uh, second and third, both numbers are changed, fourth is the same. So we have updated our numbers in the uh, population or POP variable. And now there is a calculate witness value and selection probabilities. So this is the F we have uh, initialized another variable uh, with the uh, hundred of zeros to one uh, zeros. Uh, you may just uh, dock and search more about it. So it will just create zeros. How many zeros? It will be hundred zeros in a one column. So this is actually doing that. Uh, let me show you that instruction. You may search more about the doc zeros here. Uh, read this document or you may just put that command here. And here you can see that we have 100 rows and one column. And next uh, here are some uh, selection probabilities uh, and it's a procedure. So let me get uh, move on. So here we get uh, uh, some hundred numbers uh, as we have 100 populations so we get get 100 numbers here. So here is a little detail about the onlooker bees and then there is some detail about the scout bees. So in uh, onlooker bees actually there is a slight difference and that is a technical difference uh, onlooker bees uh, uh, now watch uh, the performance or the numbers from the employed bees and uh, decide uh, which uh, uh, food source to explore. I'm just uh, telling you some, uh, about some uh, th uh, theories of these and scout bee, uh, bees phase, scout bees actually are responsible for uh, uh, diversifying the research. Uh, they check the quality of the food sources and uh, abandon them if uh, uh, they are not improved uh, for a certain number of iterations. So it's just a theoretical part and in programming or in uh, uh, form of the probabilities or mathematics you can say that there is a uh, we have to some slight change uh, over uh, B's uh, selection procedure so we get uh, improved numbers which give us the better selection. So be, uh, as we have this data and based on this data we have to apply some probabil probability functions uh, and uh, other coefficients so we get the better numbers. And now we are here into the uh, uh, Rowlett wheel selection and based on uh, this P, let me click here and open the Rowlett wheel selection. Okay, let me click on step and here we have P, we have to put that into Rowlett wheel selection. So here we have a P and this Rowlett wheel selection will improve that P with the I. And uh, let me click on, let me show you the P here, let me click on, P here is 0 0.0097, let me click on continue and let's see I, and I, it will give us the number 32. So we have to follow that 32 number, here is some, uh, some changes and some define acceleration coefficient in that. And again here we are updating our newbie position uh, inside the onlooker bees. I already uh, explained this part previously which is actually the same part just like this so you can get an idea about that. 
and here is the uh, cost uh, function evaluation uh, here is the cost calculation and now uh, click on step and here and now previously uh, as I uh, show you that inside the pop we have the best numbers and now we are uh, comparing the uh, cost of pop with the uh, newbie dot cost uh, which is actually this one right here and uh, it's actually the same uh, variable uh, but here we have uh, it's same uh, variable but here uh, in on local search section we have just replaced the numbers uh, the previous hundred numbers are replaced uh, with these hundred numbers so here we are just uh, uh, comparing them and putting the updated numbers into the pop i section okay and let's uh, move on uh, so here initially we just compare the cost and if our cost is less then we are replacing this new variable with the pop and this new variable contains both position and cost initially we compare costs between the noob and pop and then we have replaced uh, uh, noob both numbers the positions and costs with the pop position and costs so uh, let's uh, move further to the scout bees and click on continue let me here are the scout bees and in scout bees we have just uh, some kind of um, uh, here is a random selection and then uh, cost function calculation and uh, here uh, we have uh, the position uh, let me click on step so if that uh, this is the scenario if that scenario meets uh, we have to uh, replace our uh, cost uh, I mean uh, this uh, if this uh, selection meets we have the numbers position we will send that position to the cost function and we will calculate the cost we will update that cost it means so in that case our fi final cost is inside this thing uh, this Popeye cost and here we are comparing our best solution cost with the uh, here our best solution cost uh, let me click on step and here we are comparing the best solution cost which is 15.80 with the population i cost and inside population uh, population i cost right now as uh, in the start of the loop i is 1 so we are directing 86 so this number is less so it will be not be correct okay so it will find uh, at which point uh, previously we have best solution cost which is 15.8095 and it's uh, uh, if there is uh, some less number available here it will overlap that number uh, with the best solution so let's see here if there is less than 15 point something 15.8095 okay let's uh, uh, execute this loop and see let me click on continue so it's 13.9485 which is the best value and it's available here uh, in these hundred numbers as we are comparing pop i position so uh, here it, it's here you can see that it's available so now we have just display uh, the first iteration uh, what we have the best cost similarly when we run the program we have uh, the uh, 200 iterations and each iteration will display uh, the best cost available and here is uh, the curve uh, just you uh, move your cursor and you can even expand it and uh, here you can see that at a particular uh, uh, position if you move your move your cursor you will see that at iteration number 97 we have 5.184 it best e raised to power minus 11 and here is the result so hopefully uh, uh, by using uh, this uh, uh, video explanation you learn a lot more uh, please uh, give your suggestions as well so uh, if you want to op uh, apply this optimization algorithm to your objective function just you need uh, uh, to understand how it works and then uh, the basic part is to uh, assign the decision variable so it depends how you assign the uh, decision variables what will be the input and outputs how many uh, decision variables are required for you and then you have to just put your objective function uh, with the cost function 
and uh, mostly uh, as per our YouTube channel or our videos, we talk about the load flow analysis. So in our case, load flow analysis